Here's what happens after she lays eggs. The first thing I do is remove the mother from the eggs. This clutch of children's pythons was a surprise. I paired her with a male a few times late last year, but I thought she wasn't going to lay for me. But when I checked up on her today, I noticed that there were two eggs laying next to her. So I knew she would be sitting on more eggs. Unfortunately, it looks like most of those eggs are slugs. So I'm going to candle all of the eggs just to make sure I'm not missing something. To candle an egg, I hold the flashlight up against the shell of the egg. And what I'm looking for is the presence of veins and an embryo. And it's important to find that embryo because the embryo needs to be facing up at all times. If it's not positioned facing up, it can die. So once I identify the embryo, I mark it. The embryo actually fixes itself to the inside of the egg wall, so it won't move during incubation. As I suspected, this egg is a slug, and so is this one as well as these three. Which means they're not fertilized, so there's no chance of a baby snake growing inside. 